Losers, round two, round Caster one. versus Nina. Let's go, Losers. Let's see who can make it out of, out of this out of this battle. I am super excited for these teams, Waffle. Who do you think they're going to be leading with? Oh, I don't know. We're about to find out that we got Math Rock and Claw Punk. Strong lead from Caster, and from Nina's side, they are sending out the Charizard and Inteleon. Caster going for that 411 tempo uh, play right now with. Bringing out Math Rock and Claw Punk. I love these two music genres so much. We got a math? Oh, a math major? No. Got a music major over here, huh? <laughs> no, I just I just listen to Math Rock and pretend like I know what, what I'm talking about. And just say, like, this rhythm, this polyrhythm is so much fun. Like what Claw Punk is about to do with a protect and a tailwind. That's right. Eating up that, uh, what was that, the snipe shot and blocking the heat wave in addition. Caster establishing speed control really early in the match. And Mathrock taking a burn off of that. I mean, it's from the flame orb. That's kind of what it wants. Yeah, indeed. Mathrock actually took a lot of damage off of that heat wave, bringing it down to almost half. Uh, Caster really has to be careful with, the, with what kind of damage Mina's pushing out right now. Yes, but with the tailwind up, this means that Caster is able to probably get off a very, very speedy Rock Slide. Probably going to be sniping a one-hit knockout if Rock Slide connects on that Charizard on Mina's side. <gasps> very scary on both sides. I, I, I'm so scared. What if, what if the music stops? But what about what do you, what do you think Italian's doing with, uh, with this turn? Well, you know, as we've seen so far. Oh wait, hang on. We're going to be getting a switch out here. We're going to see Tree. I seen Trip Pop coming in. Table eye, interesting, mixing it up. And we're going to be seeing a Dynamax from Caster's side. So we're not gonna be seeing a rock slide, but instead we're gonna be seeing uh Max Rockfall probably. Big, big claws on him! Look at him! He's got big meaty claws! <sighs> this season is such a treat that we get to see a Max um <laughs> Max Claw Punk for the first time. First time we've seen this Pokemon in the season. But here we go, here it is, the Max Rockfall. Is it gonna go on Charizard? It is! That's a four times, isn't it? That's right, quad weak, immediate one hit knockout, taking Charizard off the field. Goodness, Caster really knows how to put on the pressure. That's right, but now we gotta see. Here's the snipe shot. Ooh, that did so much damage! Took about one shot and a grit! What? Oh my gosh, Mina taking out Caster's <laughs> first turn of Dynamax, and um this is looking like a very different game now, isn't it, Violet? Yeah, for real. Things just like shifted so quickly. I thought, uh, I thought Dr Drillbur was, I thought uh, Clawpunk was gonna tank that. Is that crit? That crit was a lot of damage. Yes, the double health from Dy Dynamax does not make a difference here. As Caster sends out Webcore, the Porygon Z, and Grimmsnarl. Ooh, Grimmsnarl on Mina's side. What? I wonder what they're gonna do on this turn. So typically we would. Probably see some late game screams coming out right about now. Trying to say to Caster, I know that you just lost your Dynamax. Your offensive pressure is basically cut in half now, so I'm going to lock down. But we'll see. Here we go. Really hunkering down so that uh, so that Mina could set up a wall and become almost unbreakable. But this Thunderbolt, oh, that looks like it hurt. Yep, the fake out trying to guarantee Inteleon doesn't have any sneaky tricks and Webcore picking up a knockout onto the Inteleon. Oh, a spirit break. Mina's not setting, setting up any screens. They are going very aggressive this round. Yep, going straight into the aggressive strats and going to be activating the red card, forcing Grimmsnarl on Mina's side to switch out. Switching Judge. into the last Pokemon. <laughs> Judge! Toxicroak Judge. will now be sent out. Ooh, Toxicroak. What's Toxicroak's name? I didn't re- Oh, he did Mina didn't make a name. Oh, that's fine. There are names in our hearts. I'm sure Mina had a phenomenal name for this. We can probably I ask him later. Him. Yeah, we can actually have them in the interviews. All right, and Grimmsnow coming back out after that awkward judge call in the red card. Yeah, the judge decided that uh, the call was unnecessary and that he needs to go back out and not be a little scaredy cat. <laughs> Grimmsnow, I believe in you. But now <laughs> it looks like Mina might be squaring up for a Dynamax of their own. Who is it going to be? Is it Big Grimmsnarl? Are we going to see the, the final boss? I think you'd be wrong, Violet. Psych, <laughs> it's actually the Dynamax Toxicroak. I was pranked. Looks like Mina is going to be going for some aggressive plays to clean up the last few Pokemon on Caster's side. 
Goodness, such a such a back and forth right now between the two. Right, but Mina's definitely on the upper hand. Ally Switch is going to mix things up a little, and a try attack going on to Toxicroak, taking it down to the yellow and giving it a burn. Oh my gosh, that's that's really really good. Was oh, this Max Knuckles? It's going on Sableye. <gasps> no way. Yes, the Ally that Switch. That Ally Switch mattered. It really did, and then we get Spirit Break going on to Webcore. Going to be dropping its stats. Looking like it's special attack, we don't want to be seeing that, but we did just have it dodge a max knuckle, so I think Caster will take that. Absolutely. What a play from both people, both sides right now. They are not giving up. Mina really trying to be aggressive while Caster's being really strategic with their moves. Is that right? I would say yes, but this is the end of Tailwind for Caster's side, so it's going to be a little bit on the back, but for Caster, as Toxicroak will most likely be going first this next turn. No way. So maybe Toxicroak is probably going to be able to drop a Max Knuckle in uh, Emporion if it can't get a uh, another ally switch out. Yes, and it comes down to that 50-50. Will Caster choose the 50-50? No, they will not. A try attack. It's enough to take out Toxicroak. It, it was fast enough, even out of Trick Room, and takes out Mina's Dynamax. Goodness, I guess Toxicroak wasn't as fast as we thought it would be. And then here's the Spirit Break. Oh, this is going to be gnarly against Trip Hop. Oh, he doesn't like that. Nope. This is the end of Sableye as it is knocked out. And now we are down to Webcore, just holding on barely with the damage from the Sandstorm. And we're going to be seeing what is in the back for Caster. Mina's re uh, Caster's really got to keep putting on this pressure against uh, this Grimstar. So right now, could he could set up a wall and maybe even tank through the rest of the, the, the fight. Yes, it looks like Mathrock, the Sigilith, will be Caster's last Pokemon. So it was a 2v1 situation on the field right now. Oh, put a up a light screen. Good, good. Actually, because these two are both special attackers, aren't they? Yep, these are both special attackers. Light screen going up on Mina's side, going to be reducing that damage by a third. And then a try attack from the Porygon Z. Bringing it down to just a little bit below half, but the Life Orb will take out Porygon Z. Another victim to Life Orb. We, we will always salute those who die to their very own life orbs. So this is the Sandstorm. So Grimmsnarl is not going to be taking that chip damage anymore. So now this is just a matter of chipping away to see who can outlast the other. Mm -hmm. And we didn't see a lot of damage coming out from Sigilith uh, onto Grimmsnarl last turn. But this is the shtick. Psycho Shift could be transferring the burn from Sigilith to the Grimmsnarl, cutting its physical attack in half. This totally turns the tables. Could th This could mean the end. Well, not so fast, though, because Mathrock just suffered a special attack drop. And that means its damage output is reduced even further in addition from that light screen that Mita set up last turn. The layers! There's so many layers to this! I My mind is exploding! Woo! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> now... Mathrock did take a good chunk from that spirit break, so we're going to see what happens next. So here comes the air slash. Will we see a flinch? Could it Could it flinch? Could it flinch? No way! Those drops are so important right now! Mina's going to slap right in! Yes, Mathrock going into the red. And another special attack drop. But we do Mina's see a little bit of burn. This. That's right, but we are down to the red for both players, so it'll come down to... Will Sigilith uh, snag a flinch here? Air slash going on. Is it enough to pick up the knockout? It is not, but there's no. the flinch. It's the flinch, oh my gosh, that's the, insane. The burn bringing it down to five HP. We are in critical for both Pokemon on the field. Oh my gosh, just the back and forth. Everyone trying so hard, not giving up every turn. And this is it for Mina. Oh, Mina's really, really put, uh, put a really good game out. Yes, and with that, the first game will go to cast. You bet. Round two. So I'm curious right. to see. Um, will Caster stick with the same, and will Mina change it up? Well, let's see. We're going to see Clawpunk and Trip Hop mixing it up this time. And for Mina, Ooh. we see Charizard and Inteleon, the same strong lead. Mina likes this lead, and it works so well against most of the uh, most of the opponents they've gone against. Every time, Mina's been like, answer this heat wave, answer this snipe shot. You can't die. That's right. See, with this lead, you have such strong and aggressive pressure. Fast to boot, too. But there's not a lot of Pokemon that can just resist ice or water and fire. Just the amount of coverage for this lead is just phenomenal. But let's go in to see what this first turn is. I'm seeing a Dynamax from Caster right off the bat. Caster's really liking the aggressive plays. 
uh, here, trying to really just set up as much hazards as possible. We're probably gonna see a max rock fall like we did last time right on the Charizard, because that O-code. Well, but also at the same time, maybe Caster wants to eliminate the Inteleon because that eliminated Clawpunk so early in the first game. Uh, that's it. That, that is a possibility, but Mina's gonna go pretty passive here with the Protect. And Caster as well with an ally switch. <laughs> like they're, I, think they're, places? I, think, I think they're reading uh, the plays that that Mina was going to do last turn. Try to see if they can do something about that ma about uh, Inteleon. Yes, we're going to be seeing a Max Quake going on the Inteleon. Not going to do as much since Inteleon protected this turn, but we're going to see that special defense buff. So this heat wave is going to do a little less trip hop dodging. Oh, oh my not going to like that. It's super effective. Yes, but that will activate the weakness policy. So now we got a super buff Clawpunk on the field right now. That is plus two to its attacking stats. Yo, this pl Claw Clawpunk went from like, uh, like punk rock to hardcore punk rock. That's right. But now the problem is, will Clawpunk be able to get an attack off before the Inteleon? Uh, we don't know. I think the Inteleon's faster, isn't it? Yes, speed is not on Caster's side right now, so it'll come down to how Caster is going to deal with this Inteleon on the field that <laughs> can and very will want to get a one-hit knockout on Clawpunk. Maybe maybe they'll try to go for a another ally switch, try to pull the will out uh, from uh, Mina's eyes. That is right, that is the only option here, but let's see ally switch going off, going for the 50-50. Did Mina <laughs> predict it, did Mina predict it. They going did! In. They did! They predict the ally switch! Incredible! Not getting the critical, so this Pokemon does live another day in that special defense buff, but answering with a max rock fall of their own, getting the <gasps> knockout on Inteleon. That hurts! And now we also got the Sandstorm kicking up. Inteleon goes down on Mina's side, but now we're going to see how much the Heat Wave do. Heat Wave's not going to matter with uh, Ally Switch here, hitting full of Pokemon. What a shot. Yes, and the Heat Wave will hit Super Effective on Clawpunk, taking out Caster's Dynamax. Red card Goodness. will activate and send out Charizard saying, Judge, he killed judge, my friend. Judge, uh, um, you're not allowed to do that in sanctioned events, Judge. So you see Toxicroak being sent out, forced because of the red card, and it'll take a little bit of chip damage, but that Toxic Sludge is going to bring it back up to full. I loves dirt. <laughs> it's my name. It's my character. I'm the trash man. I eat trash and I throw it all over. <laughs> all right. So Mina like... really has to think what they're going to do against uh, Caster's backline now. Yes, but again, we have such fast and offensive threats on the field, but we're going to be seeing Mathrock and Charizard coming out. Charizard on Mina's side and Mathrock the Sigilith on Caster's side. I love seeing Sigilith. I love Gen 5 representation. We don't get enough of it. It's a real treat to see these Gen 5 Pokemon make their appearance for Fluffy Barrage. And also Toxicroak from uh, Diamond and Pearl era. But here we go. Trip Hop switching out on Caster's side, bringing back the Sableye and adding in Web Core. Maybe trying to Ooh. sneak in a normal type in the face of this very strong fighting type. Mm -hmm. Trying to trying to maybe go with a pivot, trying to maybe bait out another uh, fighting type move on Mina's side on the next turn. And hopefully this on this turn tanking what's going to come out. But well, we're gonna see a GMAC Charizard. That's right, Mina mixing it up from last game. So we'll see what happens now. So here's the Tailwind from Caster's side. Could be doubling the speed on their side of the field for the next four turns. Caster's really gonna wanna deal with this Charizard. He looks kinda scary, man. Thunder Punch is also going to go off and proc Toxicroak's Poison Touch, poisoning Mathrock. Ooh, that puts Mathrock on a clock then, doesn't it? Yep, and Max Rockfall going a little bit less than half of damage to Webcore, so, and the Sandstorm damage bringing it now to just below half HP. The Sandstorm kind of... Pivot. Yeah, the pivot, the pivot was completed, but now we're in a precarious situation with if Webcore is able to out-damage this Charizard, and if we can't get the knockout on one of these Pokemon, Toxic Croak's just going to come in with like a super effective fighting move, so... It's looking a little dicey for Caster right now. Mm hmm. And with Mina and with Caster's team both at 50%, it's it's kind of scary out here. It's oh, kinda, it's scary. I'm, I'm hanging on the edge of my seat right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. You paid for the whole seat. You better use it. 
Oh, I don't worry. I'm using it, but I'm I'm sitting right now. All right, Air Slash going on to Charizard and Thunderbolt and the Charizard not enough to take out the knockout. But oh, so bulky. This is going to activate Charizard's weakness policy, <gasps> raising its offensive stats by half. No. And Thunder Punch onto Math Rock, picking up the knockout on the Sigilith. Oh my goodness, Mina's so aggressive right now. All those pressures are intense. Yes, and the GMAX Wildfire going on to Webcore, getting a second knockout this turn. Oh my goodness. Caster's really got to pull out something real aggressive next round, trying to take out these two really, really strong Pokemon. Yes, but it's worth noting that GMAX Wildfire is on the field now. So Caster's Pokemon, for no matter what it is, unless it has Magic Guard, which I don't think they have right now. Yeah, just a trip hop in the back. Uh, they will oh, be taking hop. damage at the end of every turn. So this might be the time for Caster to start thinking, how do I answer this next game? Caster's really, really got to find an answer out, try to find an answer here. At the very least, think about what's, what kind of damage is going to help with Mina's opening. Maybe what, what kind of situation can they put themselves in to be more in a better spot. Mm -hmm. The fake out does not matter since we have the GMAX Wildfire taking the knockout and getting game two's win. Our players have That's shaken point. it up. I, I, I wonder if me, I wonder what they're going to start out with their, uh, with their, with their starting line up. All right, we're going to see Clawpunk and Mathrock. Caster really saying, hey, I really need that speed support and I can't be playing with ally switches anymore. Sorry, kid, it's nothing personal. And Mina leading with their iconic Charizard and Teleon lead saying, hey, this has been working great for me. I don't need to change anything. You need to change something. Answer now. Oh, and this time mixing it up with a protect for the Clawpunk. Clawpunk really going defensive, trying to predict Mina's uh, ag aggression onto Clawpunk. Yes, and is going to eat the first snipe shot with that protect, and we're going to see Heat Wave also eaten by protect. So, Caster setting the stage for speed and going to try to capitalize on it. Critical hit off the Heat Wave onto oh Mathrock. My gosh. That's going to be huge, but Mathrock has already done its job. The speed is in Caster's court now. They are the one that's in control of the, of the speed. Everyone on their side is faster. But will Caster be able to handle this Inteleon? Because if he gets one crit, it, that's it for him. He's gone. He's out of there. It's a very precarious situation to be in for Caster, I gotta say. But let's see. How are they going to capitalize? No Dynamax this time. Instead, conserving it and going for the Air Slash on Inteleon, trying to get a flinch maybe. And a Rock Slide. Ooh, no luck. Charizard going to dodge it. The double dodge. Double dodge. No way. The flinch. Oh, my yes. goodness. The heat wave is massive there. That would have been a knockout on the Charizard, but it is going to activate the weakness policy. But, oh boy, you you kind of hope for something a little better than a double rock slide dodge. Oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. The, with the flinch, not able to really capitalize on, on the flinch. Yes, and this means that that is one Pokemon knocked out on Caster's side. They will send in Webcore the Porygon, though, with phenomenal coverage trying to deal with, you know, either the Charizard or the Inteleon, both weak to electric. A huge electricity uh, weakness right, uh, against these two. Definitely a detriment, but I think Mina will be able to find a way to handle it because th there's just so much pressure, right? Oh, phenomenal pressure. We're going to be seeing a Thunderbolt now. Going on to the Charizard, that is huge damage. Not enough to pick up the knockout, though, bringing it down to the red. And that's going to activate his weakness policy again. This Charizard so buff. He's so strong now. Rock Slide coming Rock Slide out again. Hit? Inteleon no. dodges it. It will go on to the Charizard, though, picking up that critical knockout. But this Inteleon is now lined up for a pretty good snipe shot. Here he is. Light it up. Take the shot. Oh no, and that'll be enough to take the knockout on Clawpunk. Being below half HP doesn't mean you bode well against super effective attacks. Rest in peace, Clawpunk. I'll be moshing for you at the end of the match. We are now currently three Pokemon on Mina's side and two on Casters. Let's see what happens in this last half of the game. Trip Hop coming out. I love seeing Porygon here. Oh, it's a real treat. 
Now we see Grimmsnarl coming up from Mina's side. Mina probably going to be changing gears and setting up screens, maybe taking a more defensive approach. Absolutely. Mina's probably thinking that they're in a pretty good spot right now. Just be like, I can hunker down, slow the match down, wait out the tailwind, and just push out damage slowly. All right. And now we are going to see... That's right, we have not seen Dynamax this game 3 yet. Both players conserving it, trying to mix it up. So let's see, what is Caster going to Dynamax? Big Porygon! Look at him! Look at giant web core! It's such a good cry under Dynamax. All right, what's going to happen then? But fake out onto the Inteleon, going to be flinching at this turn, but this means that the Grim Smell is free to light screen as it pleases. That might be that might spell some danger for for caster side. We're gonna be seeing a max strike going on the Grimstall. Huge damage with that light screen. Gonna keep it a little bit healthy, but this will drop the speed of both of Mina's Pokemon. Perhaps Caster is saying, "Hey, my tailwind's almost out. I need to drop the speed on your side." And so sure enough, that's the end of trail. Uh, uh, the end of tailwind on Caster's side. Oh no, Caster really deciding that, okay, I do need to control the speed somehow. I do need to be able to answer this. I need to be proactive. They are actively pushing against Mina, which is putting a lot of pressure on them. It's an immense amount of pressure, but again, Mina still has Mina still has access to their own Dynamax, but here we go. Shadow Sneak coming out. Gonna be doing a little kiss of damage, but not very effective being that dark type. But here's Max Lightning going on to the Italian. That is oh. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not even gonna say it. That's that's just knockout. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, yeah, no, there's that Inteleon is out of here. You, get, 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 sorry, buddy, just back to the E-boy cube you go. <laughs> Setting electric terrain though, we could be seeing some more Thunderbolts later, but Inteleon is down. And now we are down to a 2v2 right now. Caster really brought this back uh, against against Mina. It's it is such a back and forth. These two are such good trainers. It really shows how how much they want to fight out of Rusers. Both players fighting their hearts out today. Red Cargo is switching out the Grim Snarl, dra dragging out the Toxicroak, and then Grim Snarl can just kind of come back and just be like, uh, okay, weird, but but here we are. The judge calls are a uh, little funny, I think. Now, what's interesting about this is that that is going to reset the speed set of the Grim Snarl. I don't think it'll matter too much, but we are dealing with Trip Hop, which is at below half right now from that super effective fairy type attack so this could be trip hop's last turn really scary oh we're gonna see a dynamax on mina's side it's, it's gonna be toxicroak isn't it it's gotta be it's gotta be it's gotta be the big frog yes it is all right give us a give us a yell <laughs> beautiful all right now it's gonna come down to uh can caster deal with this big frog but here comes max strike Tons oh, of damage. So much. Doing so much, but will it be enough? Because I feel like Mina's about to answer with their own um, max move. Let's see how this one goes. Here comes the max knuckle. This has to go straight into Porygon. Ooh! Webcore not liking that. Super effective damage. Not having an ally switch that turn. A little killer there. And that will be the end of Webcore. And now it is just the end. Of it is the end, and this little Sableye gazes behind this vast field, foul playing his little heart out. We believe in you, Sableye. Everyone clap for Sableye. We believe in you, buddy. <laughs> but Grimstall is, is going to is going to dream cancel on Trip Hop. Immediate dream cancel. Trip Hop down, and that's gonna be it. Caster gonna be losing this, and Mina taking this round. Incredible. And the winner is.